Hello fellow clear mind enjoyer. This is my new Synchron list that I used to get to DL Max, but to be honest, I think this list can easily reach Master 1. I call it IMBA Synchrons. This acronym stands for Illusion of Chaos, Majestic, Beistschulz, and Adventure. All the cards have surprising synergy with each other, and basically, every monster can be converted into a power play. Let's talk about the obvious lines first. Jet Synchron or Synchro Overtake and Rights of Aramesir will give you a protected speeder, forcing your opponent to use two hand traps. The line should be known, but I will show it again in the first combo showcase. Jet Synchron is surprisingly strong going second with Beistschulz because it will lead into a Yazzie play that no opponent will see coming. You may be asking, what is so strong about the play? Yazzie's hidden effect is that nobody reads him, and nobody knows that he is untargetable. That helps us play around targeting disruption like a set impermanence. After Yazzie is destroyed, he floats into Mare Mare and provides us a speeder. Another notable thing for Jet Synchron is that it gets us into Chaos Ruler with Illegal Knight. Our second Synchron is Assault Synchron. Together with Doppel Warrior, he gives us a protected speeder as well, but it's riskier since he can't do that in under 5 summons, and you need a monster discard. This will be the second combo in the showcase. Other than that, he and Water Enchantress will get us into Speeder, but he will be unprotected, and together with Beistschulz, he gives us a Chaos Ruler without much commitment. Our third Synchron will be Junk Synchron. What is my purpose? You passed Doppel Warrior. Oh my god. Yeah, welcome to the club, pal. Thank you, Rick. Junk Synchron is only in this deck because he is a Dark Warrior, which means he can be targeted by Brodor to get us Doppel Warrior. For the last Synchron comes our strongest Synchron that enables power plays without speeder, Stardust Synchron. Together with Beistschulz, he generates so many resources that you quite often don't care if your speeder resolves. I will show you two replays where I won going second without speeder. Paired with Lubellion, he will give you shooting Majestic Star Dragon even before you resolve your speeder. This will be our third combo in the showcase. So with the Synchrons done, let's talk about the engines. Adventure, especially with Illegal Knight, provides a lot of pressure going second, as mentioned before. Ideally, you want to pair it with Jet Synchron, but all the other Synchrons don't mind the bodies as well. In my opinion, Illegal Knight outperforms Griffin Rider in every way, and it helps a lot that he is a dark monster. The application for Illegal Knight includes, but is not limited to, bouncing opponent stuff, searching Lubellion with Chaos Space, and being banished by a Bysteel. Speaking about Beistschulz, these guys are quite simple. They banish light and dark stuff, not only from you but the opponent, making them a DD crow on steroids. Let's make it fast with them. Magnamut searches a dragon during the end phase if he is summoned. Savonir pitches a Beisteel or branded card into the graveyard, making him a foolish burial on steroids for Lubellion and branded regain. Druaswurm sends a card to the graveyard if he hits the graveyard from the field. Baldrake tributes a light or dark monster on your field to banish a monster that is special summoned from the extra deck. Lubellion searches your Beistschulz, and then he can be special summoned from your hand or grave by tributing a level 6 or higher dark dragon monster. Once he is on the field, he can place a continuous branded spell or trap. He is searchable with Chaos Space. You know who else is searchable with Chaos Space? Right, Illusion of Chaos, our third engine. It searches Magician Souls in this list. By playing 2 Illusion of Chaos, you can get rid of unwanted cards in your hand like these two idiots. Magician Souls can set up a dark body for your Beistschulz in your graveyard and be used as a level 1 body to get into speeder with Stardust Synchron. Other than that, his on-field effect is quite useful as well. He converts up to 2 used up or useless spells or traps into basically upstart goblins. Most often used with the Adventure Engine after you used up Dracoback and Fateful Adventure to draw two and give you immediate advantage. Well, let's come to the non-engine part of the list. Veilers are light monsters for our Beistschulz, Droll and Lockbird are currently the strongest hand trap that isn't named Bug, speaking about it Max C just because it's hella broken and should be banned. The last non-engine hand trap is Ash Blossom just because Branded is quite strong at the moment. You may see that there is no called buy and cross out in this list. That's because we don't care too much about stuff like Max C. We are taking the challenge basically always. 
This list has enough juice to summon up to 50 times. With the main deck done, let's talk fast about the extra deck. Most cards you should know by now. Double Star Shaman summons level 2 monsters from the grave or hand, mostly used for Doppel Warrior. Marcher summons a tuner from the graveyard, a decent extender. Herald is our main protection for speeder. Cupid Pitch searches Defrag Dragon. That's important in the Assault Doppel Warrior line. Hyper Librarian is a broken card. Jet Warrior is mainly used as an overtake target for Jet Synchron. Excel Synchron is an easy to summon level 5 extra deck Synchron that enables Speeder quite often. Junk Speeder is a broken card. Rose Maiden is out for Max C. She searches Black Garden, which gives the opponent like 10 draws if played properly. Other than that, Black Garden is basically a monster reborn for Doppel Warrior. Yazzie is insane going second. Crystal Wing is an extra negate that is easy to summon in this list. Chaos Ruler is a broken card. Baron is a broken card. Dispater is a broken card. Shooting Majestic Star Dragon is a based card. And with that being said, and without further ado, let's get into the speeder combos. This is our first and best line with this list rights of Aramesir and Jet Synchron. This line forces your opponent on at least two hand traps to stop the speeder play. All lines will just show the route to speeder. This line protects Speeder with Herald and Fateful Adventure Chain blocking for him. Another good side about this line is the Herald search for Illusion of Chaos in case you need follow up or you have to negate an effect. This is our second line with Assault and Doppel Warrior. This gives you Herald before Speeder, but it requires more resources and it can lose to Nibiru. The third line is probably the worst but it's the most fun one because nobody expects it and you get your shooting majestic star dragon before your speed or summon.
I have a fun challenge for you guys. Can you see the speeder line here without using Mer Mare? Write your ideas in the comment section. You can use all cards in the showcased list. And with that being said let's get into the replay part of the video. The first two replays will show you games without speeder. The third replay will show you an all out board through two hand traps and the last replay will show you a max C challenge and how easy it is.
post-edit death echo here. I've decided to put this replay here as well because it showcases how well this list provides pressure with every action you take. Even without speeder it's quite opposite. Thank you for watching. I would appreciate some feedback and I would be quite happy if you like and subscribe.